Hey guys, what's up? It's Paulina here and welcome back to my channel. If you guys watched my other vlog, I told you guys that I was going to put out a video of basically what my kids and I are going to be doing for Easter on Sunday and what games we're going to be playing and all that stuff so you guys can have some ideas. So I have my notepad right here that I wrote down like Easter games and um, things like that that we are doing because I know that I'm going to forget. So um, I have some games pretty much out laying on the floor right here because these are games that you can play inside the house. The ones that I'm going to show you guys right now, little activities that you could do for very inexpensive is the things that I got from like the Dollar Tree or Walmart. So the first one that I have that most of what everybody does is the Easter egg scavenger hunt. So I have this little Easter egg hunt bag. And I believe I purchased this from the Dollar Tree last year and I still, I mean, I save everything. So, um, and I'm surprised I still have this bag, but this is what it came in and it comes with like a pack of stickers that basically like the sticker has like, um, butterflies on it and like, um, a carrot sticker or something. And you basically put the stickers on like the Easter eggs and the kids have to find like the Easter egg that has like the carrots on it and whatnot. So it also comes with eight of these player cards and it tells you what you know they could do like this one is like go find the egg with a bunny on it sticker and a uh, egg with a flower solid blue egg solid green eggs and then you get a bonus so this is really really fun for kids and on top of that it does come with these first place second place and third place award cards so that they could have but we keep it every year and we usually don't do it they just like to compete against each other and replay the game over and over so yeah that's one of the games that was a dollar at the dollar tree and like i said i got that last year and i save it for every year after that so the one thing that i did purchase this year um was when i first went to walmart back like maybe like three weeks ago three maybe like a month and a half ago ish whatever back in february but um are these Easter eggs and I'm pretty sure you guys have seen it before because they come out with it every year but this is the first year that I'm letting my kids do it and basically these are chalkboard eggs and they give you 12 and um, it comes with the chalk and the kids could basically draw whatever they want on there and I'm pretty sure like you know like it would come like this they would do like flowers stripes polka dot or knowing joshua he would probably try to draw sonic on there because he does it all the time so this one i believe was like two dollars at walmart but um yeah i got that about a month and a half ago so i was um prepared ahead for all of this so the next thing that i purchased from walmart was these confetti eggs now this is just like a little party fiesta for them so you open this up and you get these little different color eggs. If you pick one up, it has like this little like tissue paper and the confetti's in there. So they basically could just crush it and all the confetti comes out or whatever they want to do. And it comes like that. So that's like, that's a cool surprise for the kids, I think. So I think they'll have fun. Maybe like we would have them like do like a competition or something and then at the end they could just smash it when they're done with all their stuff so the next thing that i found at the dollar tree were these softy dough never seen these before and this one is like a frozen two one this is just like a fun activity for them to do it's not really easter related but um i found these and they could basically like mold it out and just play with it and then i got this one for joshua which is like a witty one because as you guys know he's a big fan of toy story and the girls are big fans of frozen so that's the activity basically that i have right in front of me so now i'm going to take you guys over to the other side um to show you guys the games that we have set out for them so i'm going to take you guys on a little tour of where each game station is right now so, all right so these are like one game guys i save all my eggs then i have like some little stuff like out oh, there's not that many but i'm going to start over here so this is what i guess you would call this like the little treasure hunt so these two bags are already um set out and um each kid gets one 
And basically, what I have in there is I bought these candy, Easter egg milk chocolate flavored candy um, from the Dollar Tree. And I basically opened it, threw it all in there, like hid it in there. But this one doesn't have yet because I was going to um, just show you guys what I put in there. But all of these pretty much like already has like things hidden. Like see, so it's real. There it goes. Has stuff already hidden in there. But I have these chocolate in there. We have these chicks and each basket has two chicks in there. So you basically throw the chicks in there, hide it somewhere. And then you hide these carrots. And then basically you hide the eggs and you just throw it in there. And then obviously like mix it all around. But the kid's job is to whoever can find the two chicks, the two carrots, and also the eraser eggs is like the winner but also you could take out like the candy the candy is just for them so but yeah they have to get everything out of there that's like their main goal so that's one game that we have and then on this side because we have so many eggs i've been looking on pinterest on like certain games that they could play so this one is called easter egg building towers so basically since we have so many eggs and all the ones that are like broken you could have the kids do a little competition of who could build like the tallest tower. So, you know, you just build it on and just keep building it on for them. And then, you know, that's a cute little game. And then over here are these little cards that I made. Each kids are going to get 10 cards and basically they have to match the color eggs. So like that one has green and pink and then they would match it and then put it together and then put it aside and then whoever gets the first 10 cards first wins so i thought that'd be fun for them over here as you guys can see it's a bucket egg toss so we're gonna have more eggs but basically you know you just take the eggs and throw it in the bucket and just keep going and then see who has scored the most points and they win and then on this side we have the egg spoon race there's definitely more spoons somewhere in the house, but right now I can't find it. So this is basically one of the games. And I that one is the ring toss. There was five of them and only three made it through the years. That one's missing a little ball on top, but the kids love playing this. That, this one, and this other game, it's the potato sacks, is what I bought from Oriental Trading. And I've had those for a few years now, so... We keep saving it and keep doing the same thing every year. Now, one of the games that we actually did make is this eight cup toss. So I originally planned for nine cups, but as you can tell, there's three back there that doesn't have any um, points on it yet, but the kids will do it later. But this is just some plastic. You can use plastic or paper cup and we basically just like glued it onto the cardboard. And this I got from Aldi's when I went shopping and it's basically any cardboard that you have. Melody plays with it all the time. There she goes and she missed. But you see, this is gonna cost you like a dollar or you could just use whatever you have, paper cup, plastic cup, whatever. But this is another fun thing for the kids. Another great idea for if you guys have like this many eggs like we do. If you guys seen from my previous videos for Easter, I like to throw these eggs around in the backyard. And I'm thinking like another game that you could do is probably have the kids find like do a little race with each other and see who could find five pink eggs and five blue eggs and five uh purple eggs and whoever finds it first like wins it's a, like a little, little nice competition game so you could also do that if you have a bunch of eggs at home all right guys so i hope you guys got some ideas from us um this is just the things we usually do every year except for some of the things I search up on Pinterest just to find because I didn't know we were going to be able to be outside if it's like too cold or whatever. But these are games that you could do inside the house. These are things that you could do if you don't want to spend any money or just use things that you have already in your house to do it. But um, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you guys do, please give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe if you haven't. And we'll see you guys in our next video. Bye guys.